On June 6, 2013, a major revelation hit the headlines. The Guardian and The Washington Post published a series of explosive articles detailing a massive leak of classified documents from the National Security Agency, NSA. This breach was the work of a single individual who had stolen over one million top-secret documents, sending shockwaves through both the American government and the global community. The documents exposed a covert NSA program known as PRISM, which allowed the U.S. government to secretly monitor the data of millions of mobile users worldwide. The leak revealed that the NSA was not only surveilling American citizens, but also conducting extensive espionage activities abroad. It was disclosed that the NSA had hacked into China's military computers, intercepted communications from Angela Merkel, the then Chancellor of Germany, and collaborated with the UK's Government Communications Headquarters, GCHQ, to surveil their own citizens. The documents also uncovered disturbing exchanges between the NSA and GCHQ, in which they discussed strategies for manipulating public perception and controlling propaganda. Initially, there was skepticism about the authenticity of these revelations, as the world awaited confirmation from trusted news agencies. Despite the extensive damage caused to U.S. intelligence and international relations, the individual behind the leak remains one of America's most wanted fugitives. However, this person is seen by many around the world as a hero for exposing the extent of global surveillance and governmental overreach. Just three days after the groundbreaking revelations, a man named Edward Snowden emerged, claiming responsibility for the massive leak of top-secret documents. Snowden, a 29-year-old high school dropout, began his career in the U.S. military, but left after a year. In 2005, he took a job as a security guard at Maryland University. Despite struggling academically, Snowden's exceptional computer skills led to a job with the CIA. In 2009, he joined Dell, which was contracted to upgrade the NSA's computer systems. Initially a supervisor, Snowden later became a cyber engineer and strategist. His skills made him invaluable to both the CIA and NSA. However, Snowden's perception of his role took a dramatic turn when he discovered the NSA's extensive surveillance capabilities. While working on NSA computer systems, Snowden realized that the agency had the power to access the personal data of virtually any mobile user. He saw records that he initially assumed were related to international criminals, but soon realized were not. This discovery coincided with a congressional debate on intelligence practices. Senator Ron Wyden questioned NSA Director James Clapper about whether the agency collected data on American citizens. Clapper's denial, broadcasted live, shocked Snowden, who felt betrayed by the misinformation. Outraged, Snowden left his $200 euro per year position at Dell and joined Booz Allen Hamilton in 2013. There, he was assigned to another NSA project. According to the NSA, Snowden's breach involved more than 2 million files. He executed this massive data theft using a simple USB drive, despite the fact that USB drives were generally banned to prevent data theft. Snowden's plan was meticulous. He exploited his access to the NSA headquarters through an outdated thin client system and his elevated clearance level, which allowed him to copy data without detection. After working at Booz Allen for just four weeks, Snowden copied the files onto a USB drive, hid it cleverly, and took sick leave. He then deactivated his phone and traveled from Hawaii to Hong Kong. As Snowden failed to return and his phone went silent, the NSA grew suspicious and launched a manhunt. In Hong Kong, Snowden met with trusted journalists who published the leaked documents, sparking a global debate about NSA surveillance practices. The American government accused Snowden of stealing government property and passing secret information to unauthorized individuals and requested his extradition from Hong Kong. Snowden had already planned his escape. He took a flight to Russia, where he sought asylum and remained until 2022. In September 2022, he revealed more about NSA surveillance techniques, including a tool called Nose Smurf, which allowed agencies to access phone microphones and listen in on conversations. Opinions about Edward Snowden are deeply divided. Some view him as a traitor, while others see him as a hero who exposed the overreach of government surveillance. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.